Hi there. In this short video we will show you an alternative method of merging guest names with a wedding invitation, while the earlier video focused on the PDF toolbox. Here we show you a different approach. And as you can see, we have already imported our two-page wedding invitation. We will then pass this to the variable data module. We will now import the CSV file which contains the names we wish to merge. We will merge the names shown in column 2 here. Column 1 contains a serial number and is always generated. We will ignore that in this video. We simply add column 2 to the field list and then generate those fields as shown. As we will place the guest names on page 2, we forward to that page. We then select our single field from the field drop-down list and click and drag to draw it onto the PDF. And as before, we then size and format the text as is appropriate for a wedding invitation. It is also possible to add custom colors. So we will quickly add a new color to replace the red you can mix any CMYK color. We click the color to apply it to the selected field. We can zoom in to have more control over the placement of the field. Note also that the position tab gives very fine control over the X, Y coordinates and the width and height of any field placed. We will now generate our merged PDF file. And as you can see, our new PDF document containing 16 pages has been created. Eight front pages and eight pages containing the merged names. We will now close this PDF and the variable data module and import the newly created merged document into the Pixels Imposed main window. And as you can see, there are now 16 pages in the imported file. Double check that SRA3 has been selected as the output sheet Stacking options are enabled when we select the Proof Radio button. Here we select the two-sided top-bottom option. And then simply click Impose Artwork. And that's it, our two-sided job is now ready to print. Using this approach, only the eight names will be imposed. So if there are insufficient pages to fill the last sheet, those extra spaces will be left blank. You can clearly see this on both sides of pages 5 and 6 here. While we have imposed names onto a wedding invitation here, the same approach is ideal for any job where front and back will be printed together. Hopefully you will find this video of some benefit and as always, thank you for watching.